From Tennessee, Chattanooga to Mississippi State, 10 straight games, Coach Gene Stallings' Crimson Tide marched through the 1994 schedule. And this 94 Tide won every single one of them. On November 19th, the Tide went after number 11 against arch-rival Auburn. The Tigers were 9-0-1. Fans, players, coaches, they all knew this was going to be a big one. More than 80,000 fans jammed their way into Birmingham, some of them in the 700 or so RVs outside the stadium. Inside Legion Field, Bama players warmed up for this one on a beautiful fall afternoon. Clear skies, temperature at 72 degrees, winds from the south at 8 to 10 miles an hour. For head coach Stallings, his fifth meeting with Auburn, he was 3-1 and one against the Tigers coming in. His Tide had already wrapped up the Western Division Championship at the Southeastern Conference and the third straight trip to the SEC Championship game. Now it was Auburn, the state championship, the battle for bragging rights. Finally, about 2.30 in the afternoon, a deafening roar as the Tide hit the field. Lynch ahead of Sherman Williams. The quarterback under center, John Causey, is Jay Barker. Unbalanced line for Bama on the first and ten. Pitch back Williams. Nice block. He's loose at the 25, 30. One man to beat. Cuts inside. He spun around and gets out to the 47-yard line. Second and eight from the 50. Lynch and Williams are split. Wide out to the near side. Bama going with a couple of tight ends. Rutledge and Hape on the left. Here now is Barker to pitch it back. Bid blocking, here's Lynch, big hole, 40, 35, 30, cuts inside, down to the 25-yard line, Anthony Harris there, along with Brian Robinson to make the stop. Jay on the give, Williams, cuts left to the 10, forward to the 7, loose to the end zone, touchdown, Alabama, a 13-yard touchdown run by Sherman Williams, as the Tide takes advantage of a Stephen Davis fumble and marches it on in to the first score of the afternoon. Clock is at five seconds. Jay steps back. He'll survey things. He pumps and fires. Wide open Malone to the 50. He's in Auburn territory. He breaks one man to 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Alabama. A 74-yard strike from Jay Barker to Todrick Malone. He beat Chris Schelling near midfield and never stopped running until he found the Bama fans cheering in the end zone. 13 to nothing, Alabama. And nine now from Bama's own 14 on the pitch back. Here is the reverse to Chad Key. No. Nearly fumbles the ball, goes into the end zone, passes it back to Barker. Barker's going to take the reception and go out of bounds to the 24 yard line for <laughs> a first down. How about that? In the eye, Key is wide to the far side. To the near side, Marcel West on the first and ten from the 49. Parker to throw, looking for West behind the defense. He's got a 10, 5, touchdown, Alabama! A 49-yard touchdown straight from Jay Parker to Marcel West out of Niceville, Florida. And folks, you won't believe what's going on in the coaches' booth next to us. High fives and grown men just dancing on their chairs as Alabama leads by a score of 20 to nothing. You know, we knew they, they played a lot of uh, single coverage. Uh, they, they liked to uh, force the safety up uh, and try and stop the run. So uh, we knew that we had man coverage and, uh, you know, we could beat them on the post or a nine route. And uh, Todrick Malone and Marcel West did an outstanding job on running some good routes. And Jay did an outstanding job on throwing the football. The extra point by Michael Proctor is up and good. And with 10-25 to go in the first half, Alabama leads 21 to nothing. The deep man is Thomas Bailey, back at his own 10. Auburn is out of timeouts. Here they come with a rush, but Deal gets it away. A high, high, high spiraling kick. And Bailey watches it bounce at the two. It takes an Alabama roll laterally. It is at the one-yard line and downed by the Tide at the one. Holy cow. Downed by Alabama at 
the one Brian Deal. Good, good, good. Second and ten from their own goal line for Auburn. A minute 38 to go. And Bama leads 21-14. Nicks to throw from the end zone. He'll throw to the safety valve. It is complete and goes up the sidelines. Townsend pushing him out of bounds at the 17-yard line. Second and one. Football at Auburn's own 36-yard line. They go left to right. Again, Nicks to throw for the shotgun. Under pressure, scampers up, keeps it himself. They don't want to let him get out of bounds, but he'll work his way to the 50-yard line. Nicks then hops up. The clock will stop while they move the chains. They're looking at a fourth and about three from the Bama 42. Without any timeouts and 38 seconds to go, this, my friends, is the ball game. On the fourth and three. Shotgun, Nix, gets the snap, throws across, complete. He's not going to get there. Frank Sanders made the grab. He has stopped a yard shy. I was looking for something um, underneath. I was looking for it to go to Sanders. I had the other guy on the other side. And uh, I knew it was coming. I was just waiting on it. I knew what the first down was, and all I had to do was just make the play. I did it. I knew he didn't have the first down. But when I hit him, I kind of jarred myself a little bit. That's why I ran off and took my helmet off. I wasn't celebrating. I was really just putting my helmet off because, you know, I jarred my neck a little bit. The measurement to determine what happens. The sticks are brought out. The sticks are in place. Both teams are signaling, but yeah. the referee says it's Alabama football. Alabama held him. First and 10, Bama from the Auburn 30. Jay Barker takes the snap, hits the knees. We're going home. Bama oh, wow. wins 21 to 14. Gene Stallings, surrounded by state trooper Mike Sullivan and Kerry Sutton. He says a quick word to Terry Bowden. And Alabama is 10 and 0, now Wait. to 11 and 0 as the Crimson Tide just add to their wonderful season. The Million Dollar Band strikes up the chant of Yay Alabama. And it wasn't without its moments, but the Tide is 11-0 and still in the national championship picture.